Well, hello and welcome to what amounts to football heaven. It doesn't get a whole lot better than this. The conditions are utopian. The sky is blue and the players are with us for a football match so widely and keenly anticipated. Truly, this is pristine and the uh, level of expectation and excitement is reflected in the smiling faces of the crowd. They know it means so much and they also experience between them a great sense of privilege at uh, being able to attend this most special of games. It is quite a sight to behold, a massive sea of yellow and green and blue, the colours of the Brazilian flag. Quite some performance, and now here comes the response. Brazil have chosen to go 4-3-3. Jim, how do you see it? Yeah, and the two wide players up front can make the system pretty much succeed or fail. They'll be quite flexible in their creative movement. They like to drift in. At times, they'll mix their game up and, and keep their width. And, of course, they're also expected to track any runs from opposition fullbacks. So they've got quite hard-working jobs. But if they can gain a one-on-one -on -one advantage, they can dictate... And we're underway. Who do you, Jim, see making a difference here? Yeah, I'm not sure that words can do this fella justice, Peter. Lionel Messi is one of the, the all-time greats, that's for sure. A fantastic dribbler with a killer eye for a pass and obviously a lethal finisher too. Everyone knows what he's capable of, but stopping him's a, a very different matter. This opposition defence... Will not be looking forward to this one, I can assure you. Great leap! I just couldn't turn it in. Brazil can defend those situations better by stopping the crosser at source. Alexandro. Out for a throw. And here's Neymar. Neymar plays a clever pass. William loses his balance and loses the ball. And he has been fouled there. <laughs> so both are looked promising, but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm. Hoists it forward, and it's Messi. Now it's Dybala. Lovely feet. Plenty waiting in the middle. The referee's awarded a free kick. Paredes looking to play it into the box. Gets up to head it! Goal! 
Cena! First blood drawn. One delightful ball, and the rest was simple. Well, as contact goes, that was tremendous, and it helped him to direct it exactly where he wanted into that net. I think when it comes to the area of the farm, this fella is definitely no slouch. Argentina have made their breakthrough, so can they build on it? Look, I'm sure that silencing the crowd would have been mentioned in the dressing room beforehand, and uh, just listen. Paredes battles to win it back. Messi. Now, can he capitalise? And here's Aguero. And the shot! Decent enough try. The ball certainly could have and should have made more of that. And it's Messi. And here's Aguero. Tries to dink. He's had a go! Big relief. It just needed better contact. Look, it, it was achievable, Peter, but it needed his best. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more... Messi hits it! No mistake! All too easy! They are in danger of disappearing out of sight! Oh, it's a keeper's nightmare, Peter. He just couldn't pick up on it until it was way too late, having so many bodies in front of him. Argentina take a two-goal lead, and things should be comfortable from here on in. Well, it's been a, an absolutely fabulous spell for them, and they're starting to look unstoppable. There could be more on the way. Keeps everyone guessing. Alan. Marquinhos. This could... Has a hit! He's pulled off a fine save. Firmino is very sporting here to acknowledge the quality of the save. A lovely little footballing moment. David Luiz. Marquinhos plays it over to the other flank. He's picked him out. That's gone a long way up and away. Paredes, and it's Messi, out to the right. And it's hoisted clear. Messi. Aguero. That is terrific skill. Time to deliver. Turns and goes back. William. And it's Allen. Now it's Roberto Firmino. Played out to the right. This was gone, that's a foul. No surprise, that's a booking. Well, the protest continues, but in the end, they are defending the indefensible. Away from 
immediate danger. Ball is over the line. William. He could be a neighbor. <laughs> Neymar with the short one. There are a few waiting for it. Get the better of his opposite number. Neymar. Now it's Aguero. Aguero clips one through. Oh, Red, he sorted that out. And that'll be the final action of the first half. What do you think we're up to after 45 minutes? Argentina are two up and everything is shaping nicely. The only criticism, it could have been three. Argentina sitting pretty here at half-time, 2-0 up. We're promptly into the second 45 minutes. Changes made by neither side from what we understand. Paredes goes up and over. Keeper's got good distance on that. The through ball is intercepted. Otamendi. And it's Messi. Firmino. Dashing forward at pace. Allen. Great challenge. Time to perfection. Yeah, he was under pressure to get that exactly right. And he couldn't even think of the consequences. It was instinctive and rock solid. It's Aguero! Yes! And the lead is three! It is surely done! His position was perfect, the invitation was there for him, and his response absolutely clinical. Aguero is the obvious danger man here and yet he was afforded way too much freedom I think he was gifted that goal his reputation should have been warning enough for them three without reply this is becoming a stroll I thought that's not going to make it Messi well played he saw that coming and it's Neymar. Just brushed off the ball there. Messi is effectively being marked out of the game here. Yeah, and good communication is responsible for this defence stopping him from where he wants to go. Casemiro. Luis switches it towards the other side. Messi. Paredes. Dybala. Dybala. Plays it out to the wing. Beautifully done. A chance to play it in. Here it is, big chance! That is a class save, he had to be at his best. Oh, no, that was a chance. What a chance. Both sides then taking this chance to turn to their benches. Alan. It's Firmino. And here's Douglas Costa. Douglas Costa takes the long option. Arthur gets it back. And it's played forward. Argentina have it back and they can go again. It's a promising ball. 
Good ball, it's found its target. Douglas Costa. Alexandro. The message is clear, none shall pass. Correa. What an adventurous run from a defender. Cross deflected behind for a corner. Douglas Costa, Gabriel Jesus. Oh, he's taken out. That'll be a foul. And that's going to be a booking. Sometimes a loose foul can trigger a completely different spell of play, and uh, it makes even less sense. to switch the play. Gabriel Jesus. Nice touch. Can he deliver? Gabriel Jesus with the cross. That's clear cut. It's a free kick. Barlick tried to play it through. Yeah, I mean, he, I think he did well to, to spot the run. He just didn't get enough behind it. It happens. And it's Danny Alves. Allen. Douglas Costa gets it out to the wing. And that's been repelled. Brazil are enjoying lots of possession, but they just can't find any penetration. Paredes. Dybalik, whose goal-scoring skills have already been evident. Time added on will be two minutes. So that's it, it is all over. Argentina have won big and in style. Everything went for them. Their poor opponents left chasing shadows. A scintillating performance. So there it is. What struck you most about that? Argentina made their intentions clear that nothing else but a win would do. These games are always tough, you know, it's, it's not always about...